All right, guys, it is the first day of school, so kids will be here in about 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if everything goes according to plan. Usually not, but that's okay. I'm excited. Sixth year. Let's do it. Do it. First day. <laughs> It's hard work and today I wanted to talk to you guys about my first day of school plans. So I just basically figured it would be cool to share what I do on the first day. I'm not actually going to get into specifics of like procedures and how I teach them and not a whole lot of why. I just wanted to share with you like what activities I do and I'm doing this because <laughs> I'm hoping it's a mutually beneficial thing. I am like at a loss for activities that are fun yet structured on the first day. So maybe if I share this with you guys, you guys will be able to give me some feedback and help me figure out what activities I could actually throw in on the first day that would actually be worthwhile to do, yet also leave kids feeling like they had a really awesome first day of school. So to get started, I'll begin by saying that I teach fourth grade. And just to let you know about my school schedule so you understand timing, um, school starts, the students get there at 8.45 and then end at 3. 40, like that's when everybody's on the buses. So just to get started, the first thing that students do when they walk in the door is that they come in and they sit down and there is a word search for them to do. I get my word searches from I think it's A to Z tool maker or A to Z puzzle maker if I'm not mistaken. And they have a really cool template that I'll link below where you can basically change the shape of the word search so that it's they like have hearts, stars, smiley faces, but I have students do that. And the word search has the names of all the students in our class as well as myself. And so they get to know names from the very beginning. And there's also structure work. Moving on, um, that's from about 8.45 to 8.55. And so that's just something silent for students to do. Then I begin to talk and then I introduce myself. And usually the announcements cut me off at about 9 o'clock. And so from 9 o'clock to like 9.01, and they're really quick. We stand up, we do the pledge. And then after that, I transition students into talking about our attention signal which are chimes so I have a quick discussion about chimes I model and then we move into morning meeting at this point it's about 9 10 and at about 9 10 we move into morning meeting and I'm not going to get into the specifics of like what I teach but I do show students how to greet each other um, and then we move on from greeting to like I give announcements and then I briefly talk about sharing and how we share at morning meeting so I just do those few things, and then after that we move into an activity. Now, we are at the morning meeting circle for a very long time on the first day. So from about 9.10 to about 9.40, 30 minutes, students are sitting down, they're circled up, and we're talking about a lot of things, we're modeling a lot of things. Now at about 9.40, the next thing that we do is a classroom lineup game. So the first thing I have students do is I have them line up by height, and of course I talk to them about how to move about the room safely, but we line up by height, Next, we line up by birthday, they line up by birthday, and then I give the students a challenge, and I have them, without talking, line up by um, last name in ABC order. And this is how I have students, um, this is how I teach students how they'll be lining up for the rest of the year. So then, students will line up. At this point, the game takes about 10 minutes, and it's a, a chance for students to move. And then, um, once we do that, I tell students this is how they'll line up, and then I go over hallway procedures with them. So I go over perfect 10, <laughs> 10, 10, <laughs> um, which is one line, zero noise. And so that's how students walk throughout through the hall. Um, they walk in one line and zero noise. And then we get to practice because at 10 o'clock, students will meet with the principal. And the principal will go over cafeteria procedures as well as recess procedures. And so from about 9.50 to 9.10, we talk about 9.50 to 10 o'clock, we talk about a perfect 10 line. And then after that, um, students will go to the cafeteria to talk to the principal. She'll discuss with them how we throw things away, what we do at recess, how we line up. And then they all get to go out. This is the, the talk lasts about 10 to 15 minutes. And so students get to get up, they go outside, they run around for a little bit, and then we actually practice at the grade level how to line up for recess and how to come in when you're buying your lunch, when you pack your lunch, which way you go. So we model all of that. At this point, it's about 10.30, 10.35, 
And so um, after we've practiced that, we go to the restroom and then we go ahead and go over restroom procedures, which are super important. So once we go over restroom procedures, we take a long time with that and model how to use everything. Um, I take students back upstairs and then it is time for like one of their most favorite parts, which is unpacking their supplies. So I use a PowerPoint um, to just go through step by step how to unpack supplies. So we get all that unpacked, we get all that organized, and we usually don't finish within the time because it takes about 40 to 45 minutes. But um, at that point at 11.30, students have to stop and we go to specials. So it's the middle of the day and um, we are, well, yeah, middle of the day. We're at the point where students have already unpacked their supplies and it looks a mess because they're at their specials classes right now, their unified arts classes, and so I'm just gonna show you the craziness. I mean, it's not that crazy, I guess, but I mean, this is organized chaos because we know what we're doing. But, yep, got the trash cans here and middle of the day, so we're just organizing some supplies. So they go to art for an hour. I pick them up from art after an hour and take them to recess. We, again, use this time to model perfect lines and all that stuff. Um, they go to recess and then they go into lunch, and after that I pick them up from lunch. We do restroom procedures again before we head upstairs. And then we head upstairs, and like I said, we usually have to, um, we usually at that point have to finish up our supplies. So once we finish up our supplies, then we move on to something called quiet time. For the first day of school, we just make it to where students get to decorate their name tag for quiet time. And I got these really cool name tents on Teachers Pay Teachers for free. I will link them below and that's what I use for students to um, that's what I use for students, or that's what students decorate. <laughs> that's what students decorate are those name tents on the first day of school. So we start to decorate those, and they're just decorating them at this point. You'll see if you click on the link, the name tents have different activities, but we use those for other days. So they decorate the name tents, and we do that for, um, let's see, at this point it's about probably around two, around two o'clock when we start. So oh, anywhere from 1.45 to two o'clock, depending on how many supplies we have left to put away. And so they start the name tent, we do the name tent, um, and I just have that as a quiet time for students to decompress, they come back from recess, and it's just a calm activity and a way for me to see too what kind of quality work that they will do. So in addition to the lineup game, which is a way for me to test to see like who's a good communicator and do they follow instructions, who's a leader, who's more quiet, the name tents are also a way for me to see who takes their time with their work and what good quality work looks like to them. So I use that throughout the year, but that's like my first assessment of their work. And so then after that, since it's the first day and students are still on summer mode, we go ahead and we do extra recess. So we do extra recess for about 15 to 20 minutes. That's from about 2 o'clock, 2.05 to 2.20 to 2.25-ish. So we have extra recess. When students come back from extra recess, then I do a read aloud. So I like to do fourth grade rats. Fourth grade rats is a cool story about a kid who thinks in fourth grade you have to be all big and bad, but then learns that obviously you don't have to be that way, that you can be who you are. Um, so I start a read aloud with the students. We do a read aloud fourth grade rats. And then after fourth grade rats, it is usually about, um, let's see, about 245, 255. So then I get into planner procedures, and so it's super important to go over how to fill out a planner, you know, what the expectations are, because most students will try to short, shorten the words, and trust me, students ask me every year, like, can I instead put this? And so we go over planner procedures and how to do that. And usually on the first day, we start dismissing early. So I try to get the students um, to the point where they understand what the expectations are at the end of the day. If there's any time left on the first day before um, we start, they start dismissing students early at about 3.15, 3.20, dismissal starts early. And I usually read fourth grade rats for only about 15 to 20 minutes. So we've come in from recess at about 2.25. I'll read fourth grade rats for about 15 minutes. So that means it's about 2.40, 2.45. I'll go over planner, planner procedures for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we've got a little bit of time left. And in that time, I would have um, what's called a closing circle. So students come to the carpet, and this is new for me this year, but I think I'm gonna love it because I've tried it before um, during the school year. 
So a closing circle, so then we all circle up and we just talk about the favorite, most favorite part of our day. So that's pretty much how the first day goes for me. It is usually like a whirlwind. And it also is a lot of me talking at the students. Um, I'm just curious, like what do you guys do to make it fun? Like what do you guys do? Let me know what types of things you do to make it interactive and lively for kids. I would love to insert some more fun things that are structured, but also not out of hand. So that's my first day, guys, in a nutshell. Obviously, my plans are like a mile long for it. There's a lot more that goes into what I just said. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea, idea <laughs> not idea, idea and share that with you. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share with me your ideas, and I'll share with you back. Thanks for stopping by. Guys, I'll see you next time.